I'm Carolina Trapp. I'm a Polish-Australian street photographer currently based in Seattle. Photography for me is about self-expression. Even before I picked up a camera, I'd always felt the need to express myself somehow, and I was into all sorts of arts. As a kid, I started taking ballet classes and dancing became my passion for many years. I doubled in painting and drawing. I was also a very keen reader and I decided to make a living out of that. So I went on to study English literature at a university. All my experience with painting, dance and literature has shaped who I am as a street photographer. I think that one reason why I'm attracted to street photography in particular is because of my literary background. The world is a fascinating place, but most of all, I'm interested in the human element in it, in the human story. I've always wondered about people around me. If you ever met me, let's say on the bus, you could probably see me staring at various faces and wondering about them. The way I see it, street photography isn't about documenting anything. I don't believe in documentation, I believe in imagination. What we put into images is only our personal vision of whatever truth we may want to capture. Probably because of my history with painting and dancing, that vision for me is strongly governed by color and form, motion and movement. I'm trying to capture people in the middle of action. I'm excited about how we can introduce time and dynamic into a photograph with a slow sync flash. Bruce Gilden once said, if you can smell the street by looking at the photo, it's a street photograph. A good photograph isn't flat, two-dimensional, but it provokes us to imaginatively feel it with all our senses. Despite my enthusiasm towards all arts, I had never really taken to photography before moving to the US. For me to discover it, a couple of things had to happen. First, the revolution of the smartphone camera was necessary. That was also roughly the time when it became obvious that I was very sick. I used to be a sickly child, but like it happens with some disorders, my illness didn't get into full swing until I was an adult. I have been diagnosed with a relatively rare immune system dysfunction. Not the one that leaves you completely unprotected, but one that is less aggressive and way more difficult to treat. Because of that, I had to go through a lot of difficult moments. An especially hard time came in 2014. I could no longer dance and it was tough to focus on writing. But my doctor recommended daily walks to help overcome some side effects of the therapy. My mobile phone was of course with me. And this is how I first got into the habit of taking pictures. In 2015, my husband got a job offer in Seattle. I knew I'd be missing Melbourne, so I ventured to my favorite bookstore to get a book with images from the city. What I found was a collection of street photographs by Matt Irwin. It wasn't perhaps an especially famous book, but for me it was a discovery of the same rank as the invention of nuclear bomb or the trip to the moon. I started reading on street photography, learned of the existence of mirrorless camera, and when we finally settled down in Seattle, I was ready to hit the streets. Shooting in Seattle definitely has its challenges, like shooting in every other city. This is an area that's very much grey and sunless. The light is not exactly that exciting for many months during the year, especially over the winter months. Those darker moods informed much of my early photographical experience of Seattle. People with umbrellas, raindrops, lights reflecting off the wet surfaces, wistful expressions of those dreaming of the sun. This is the kind of scenes that I captured. At some point though, I got familiar with flash photography. 
and I realize that I might do more if I'm independent of the scarce available light. Flash helps bring out the color even on the grayest of days. It's very dynamic and it forces you to come closer up to look people and life, so to say, straight into the face. Since I can't work, photography has become more than just a hobby for me. It's a way of coping, so to say. It's something that enables me to define myself, something that provides an outlet for all the possible creative energy that I might have. It's a way of seeing life, expressing life, and most of all, it's just a way of life. A Girl with Fairy Floss, Seattle, 2019. I often like to go to various street fairs and local celebrations around Seattle. This shot was taken at a Greek festival. Fishy, Seattle, 2019. A salesman from Seattle's beloved Pike Place Market fish stand surprises a tourist by throwing a fish. Bone, Seattle 2020. Medicine students collect money for children's hospital. Shot just before the pandemic. Untitled, Seattle 2020. I captured this very expressive girl in Seattle's international district. It's a zoo out there, Seattle 2019. Fairies are a vital part of American culture. Here, a winner at one of the games holds his wild trophy at Washington State Fair last year. Untitled, Seattle 2019. A crowd of spectators gathers outside Wing Luke Asian Museum in Seattle to celebrate the Chinese New Year together. Winter Mood, Seattle 2019. Passers-by are illumined by Christmas lights decorating the city. Magician with three hands, Seattle 2019. A street magician from Vietnam entertains people at Pike Place Market. My experience with illness has taught me that we are an incredibly resilient species. When something bad happens, we have a choice to despair or to adapt and adjust, or maybe do both at the same time. But there is an incredible strength in us that just pushes us to put one foot ahead of the other and step by step move forward to find our own way, even in a darker time. I strongly believe that when life closes one door, it opens another for those who are looking around. I know that I wouldn't be here today, a street photographer from Seattle, if my illness didn't force me to look around for new ways of expressing myself. And having known the satisfaction of being able to express myself once, I don't want to let it go. These days, the pandemic poses an enormous challenge for all of us, particularly those who are at high risk like me, but also to those who are healthy and young. For some of us, the lockdown may feel like a depressing prison. Personally, I bear ill with the isolation. But that's exactly why I believe it's so important to find something that we can focus on, something new to get excited about, right now, right here. I continue searching for new inspirations at home or the empty areas of the city. I don't know if I'm going to be successful in any of these styles. I don't know where the new paths will lead me, but it's a beginning for something new and that's the beauty of it. For me, it's an opportunity to reinvent myself.